No, wait, okay. I gotta, I gotta find something extreme to do for Jimmy J. You know, so he doesn't give me shit about my one wheel riding. Wait, oh, oh, man, watch this, Jimmy. I'm going across some grass. Yes, yes. Hardcore. Oh, yeah. I nailed it, man. I nailed it. Hey, Duff here. I'm tired. Saturday. And uh, but I think I want to wheel out for a little ride here. So I think I have the camera now. The uh, GoPro, I'm on the GoPro 7 again, if you can't tell have it in wide format now instead of 4 by 3 and I believe I have the audio uh, set the way I need it. I have it on stereo as opposed to automatic. Automatic mode is where you have that, that annoying behavior that you saw in the last video where it tries to compensate for wind noise and it chops down the volume not only of wind noise but my voice so that, that's, that's no good for the way I use it. So I do have a wind slayer foam uh, windbreaker on the GoPro 7 now, similar to what I have on the GoPro 3. So I'm curious if I get similar results because I get very good audio on the GoPro 3 just using that foam uh, case. But in order to make that work, I had to figure out how to turn off the automatic uh, wind noise thing on the GoPro 7. And uh, that, that took me a while to figure out. Basically, if you have the camera in auto mode, you know, for the all the video settings, which I, I do, you don't get the option to change the audio settings at all. So I had to put it into ProTune mode. And once I put it into ProTune mode, then I had the ability to force the audio to be stereo all the time and not uh, use the wind noise feature. So yeah, quick tip, go into ProTune if you want to change your audio settings, otherwise you cannot change anything. So I've had a very tiring day. Uh, Cindy and I decided today was the day we were gonna take down the Christmas decorations, and this is this is very very early for me to take on decorations. I I can't tell you the last time I took them down before New Year's. I don't know that I ever have. But the way the Christmas fell this year, you know, usually I like to take them down the weekend after Christmas, and it's weird with Christmas falling on a Tuesday. Um, that's why I decided to do it now. Is either do it now or wait until the following weekend. And next weekend is Katie's birthday, and Cindy wasn't real into the idea of doing it then. So we did it today. So in total, it probably took us about three hours to take down everything outside and inside. That was nice of him to stop for me. So yeah, three hours, which is okay. You know, we have a lot of stuff, but what sucked is it's so freaking hot, man. It was like 85 degrees today. It's December 29th. You know, it's just, and I'm sure, you know, people that are up, up north freezing their asses off are like, ah, shut the hell up, man. I don't want to hear about your problems, but damn, it's annoying. For it to be that hot in December, it's just, uh, I don't, I don't like that, man. That's, that's why I, I have ideas of uh, Florida not being my uh, retirement destination. I, I, I get sick of the hot weather. I really do. There's just something unnatural about sweating while you're taking down Christmas decorations, you know? <laughs> it's not the way it's supposed to be. Yep, I'm in the passing lane, but there's no cars behind me. I'm not one of those, kind of those people that uh, gets kind of depressed after Christmas and, you know, taking down Christmas decorations is kind of depressing to me, so, you know, I just, just need to get out on the one wheel to uh, feel better. And at least for me, the one wheel is definitely better than Prozac. So, yeah. It just feels good to get out here and roll around, you know? It's weird. I was just recording, or just trying to record, and it was giving me like a warning beep. And I look, and it says SD card area. Error. And I just turn it off, turn it back on, and it seems to be recording, but I guess I'll find out when I get home. 
Soon you got me like a monster. I think that it's a 400 gigabyte SD card that's in this thing. Um, you know, expensive card. Um, should be a good card. So hopefully, um, hopefully the footage is not lost. We'll see. So, anyways, like I was saying, you know, it's depressing to take down the Christmas, uh, all the Christmas decorations, especially early. Although it did feel like they were up forever because. Um, Thanksgiving was so early this year and we put them up Thanksgiving weekend so it did feel like they were up for quite a long time but still it is kind of weird taking them down before New Year's at least for me uh, but on the flip side it is nice to have things back to normal it's always nice to have things uh, you know at least for someone like me that uh, is kind of routine based it is nice to have uh, stuff back the way it normally is and although it is too freaking hot here for December we do still have absolutely beautiful sunsets and sunrises in Southwest Florida. You just really can't beat them. I saw Chooch uh, finally got around to posting a video of him riding the 18XL, the King Song 18XL that he uh, was sent as a demo. And, uh, you know, typical, uh, typical ride for him, you know, lots of trails, lots of going fast, uh, jumping, all that kind of stuff. Lots of uh, music, but um, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I'm old. But I mean, th those kind of videos I can watch for like I don't know, like, maybe a 30-second spurt here, fast forward, 30-second spurt there, fast forward. I just I just can't sit there and watch the whole thing. But um, evidently, a lot of people like that. I mean, there, there's people that are like, oh yeah, awesome video, awesome video. Give me more, give me more, and they can just sit there for 15 minutes and just uh, watch no dialogue and just watch selfie stick. Uh, footage of someone riding i'm just i'm just not one of those type of people but the, the the bottom line that i took from the video is that he uh he liked the wheel just like i did and it, just like marty does as well so um 18 xl is definitely a winner if you have if you're making a choice between 18 l and an 18 xl i would probably spend the extra money and get an xl that would be my recommendation i think it's worth it Oh, do you remember me talking about my, my hip problem? And like I had this severe hip pain that just came out of nowhere. I started the end of last weekend. It lasted for like two and a half or three days. Certain things would just be like, it would almost like drop me to my knees, uh, the, the pain that would shoot through my hip. And then all of a sudden, uh, was it Wednesday night? Wednesday? Wednesday night, I think. Either Wednesday or Thursday night. I think Wednesday night. Uh, it just went away. Just as quickly as it started, it went away. And I'm just like, what the hell, man? It's old age, man. It's just it's just crazy. It just, I just shrug my shoulders for these things anymore. It's like, oh, yeah, you know. I was brushing my teeth and I pulled my shoulder. You know, you, <laughs> you just never know where the aches and pains are going to come from and uh, how long they're going to last. Oh, wait, okay. i gotta, I got to find something extreme to do for Jimmy J, you know, so he doesn't give me shit. About my one wheel riding. Wait, oh, oh, man, watch this, Jimmy. I'm going across some grass. Yes, yes, hardcore. Oh, yeah. I nailed it, man. I nailed it. I'm thinking about doing a live stream. Um, not Sunday, maybe maybe New Year's Day, because I am off New Year's Day. I have a weird schedule where I have to I go in Monday, New Year's Eve, work New Year's Eve, and then off New Year's Day. So. Uh, maybe either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I'll do some live streaming. I, I want to test out my new Yeti mic setup. You know, I have it on a boom. And I have a, I have a, a windscreen even for it. So just thought I'd test it out. You know, talk about whatever. Should be fun. I mentioned my, I have been getting a little bit of flakiness with my stopping lately. I don't know if I'm out of practice or what, but it's. Maybe my technique's just rusty, but... All right, there we go. Yeah, it might just be technique, I don't know. But a few times I, I've, I've gotten it and thought I had my heel off long enough to disengage, and it stayed engaged and, you know, rocked back and forth, and I just said, screw it, and jumped off. So, but it's probably just me. Acorns just don't have a chance against the one wheel. Alright, it's getting kind of dark. I didn't really want to spend a lot of time here. Just want to get a quick break in. So I think I will head back. I came in through the uh, waterways development, but I'm going to 
uh, go back to Oil Well Road onto Mockley. Just for a different, uh, different scenery, I guess. And I'm pretty sure Cindy and I will be going for a ride tomorrow. Burn the Dualtron, me on I don't know what. If it's a long, if it's a long ride, it'll probably be the Monster. If not, not quite as long, it'll probably be the 18L. Because I still am going to have to uh, set aside the motivation and time to probably rip apart my M Super and uh, tighten the axle nuts. Can hardly wait. Decided to uh, cross over and do the sidewalk for most of this. Just less hassle. Less chance of a uh, moron uh, buzzing me. Because there are morons and they will do that. Trust me. Alright, Jimmy, watch how I handle this bitchin' uh, this bitchin' ramp. Look at this. Whoa! Up, here we go. Going up the other side. Bam! Nailed it. It's getting pretty dark. Of course, I have on sunglasses, which doesn't help, but um, I kind of want to keep the bugs and gnats out of my eyes since this is when they uh, start to really feast. All right, here is where I need to cross back over. And we are somewhat safely on the shoulder. All right, turning back onto my street. You can see it's dark enough that the uh, street light's on. Pretty dark. I'm curious how the footage looks. There's the house. No more lights, no more inflatables, no more fun. In case you were wondering how our baby chicks are doing, here they are. Hi girls. Hello. They're getting quite big. I'm going to probably move them outside to um, our portable coop next week, I believe. They're, they're fully feathered at this point. They should be able to go outside. So, Yep. They're quite funny. Right, Georgie? Yes. What are you doing, Dot? Are you a big girl? That's, that's Dot and Popcorn that are up on the roost there. And that's Fiona. That's Danielle. The big black monster is Georgie. And the little little, little girl in the corner is um, Ginger. Hiding there. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. I'm gonna try anyways. All right, so anyways, that was a nice little, you know, just a, a chill ride, just to chill out and uh, feel a little bit better. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're a subscriber already, please consider hitting that bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video. And uh, otherwise, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, and ideas below. That's all I have for you for now. Until next time, Dr. Manning.